Completely solar passenger cars are being road tested in Europe, but still seem pretty far from a reality here in the US. Here's how some people are making their cars solar powered right now. One thing about this car is it's so quiet. You, they have a special horn that you press to warn people because they don't hear you coming up. I mean, people will be walking across the street and you hit the button and like this, you know. <laughs> What's that? If you have an electric car, but it's being, uh, the electricity that powers it is being produced by a polluting source such as coal-fired power plant, well then you're not, you're not helping uh, cut down on pollution as much as you would be as if you're producing your own electricity, uh, green electricity like we do with our solar panels. Any electric car can be charged by solar energy, and that's a beautiful thing about electric cars because they can use uh, multiple fuels and whether it's, you know, whatever can generate that electricity can power that car. It's feasible to do this now. There are some cars with uh, integrated solar panels. Um, the problem is there's just not enough surface area on the vehicle to get the amount of solar energy that you need to fully operate that car. So a car could, just guessing, could use 10 kilowatt hours a day. Um, it would take seven to 10 solar panels to offset that for a car. So. Um, that's a pretty small solar system, actually. Even though you could have a small solar setup for just your car, the real benefits of solar power come when you tie into the grid and incorporate all of your energy needs. You'll earn credits through your energy provider for the energy you don't use during the day when the solar panels are most efficient. The concept is called net metering. Net metering allows the solar panel to, to work at maximum efficiency, basically, because when you incorporate batteries into the formula and you have to turn that solar panel off when the batteries get full, then a solar panel is not nearly as efficient. So with net metering and with a grid-tight system, the solar panels can operate at their maximum efficiency. Net metering is the key to making solar an effective fuel for consumers right now. Basically, the electricity runs underground into our panel and then is distributed throughout the house. And if we're producing more electricity than we use, then it goes back out into the grid and it's used by other people. We get credit for that so that at night, when we're not making electricity, or in the winter when we're making less, we draw on that credit to cover you know, what we owe. And so last year, after one year was basically a break even. If you look out 20 years into the future and you project that five or six percent out on your electric bill on a yearly inflation rate, you're going to pay about three times what you're going to pay for solar to the utility company. So uh, for a $20,000 solar system, you can probably count on paying $60,000 to your utility company over the next 20 years. And when you have an electric vehicle um, that allows you to generate your own fuel um, and you don't have to buy the gasoline and you don't have to pull into that uh, service station to fuel up, um, you know, there's a very significant savings there. Well, I've been interested in, in uh, solar produced electricity for a long time, but in the past couple of years it's become much more uh, cost effective. The, the price of the panels has dropped. And so it was kind of a win-win to have this and the car. And we were putting up a, a boathouse, and so we designed the uh, rear of the boathouse to accept solar panels. And it's very convenient now. I just drive in my uh, garage and plug the car in. Solid green means it's charging. So it tells me how much I've got left in my charge. Okay, and then I've driven uh, 22 and a half miles today, 250 plus miles per gallon equivalent. And then if you look over here, 
it showed me that I, I went 22.6 miles on the battery, not on the gasoline engine. It consumed 6.5 kilowatt hours and no gallons. Well, this car in the electric mode produces no emissions. And uh, since we make our own electricity with our solar panels, uh, we're not causing any emissions to develop to make the electricity for the car. So I think you know that's that's a big impact that you know if everybody was not producing uh, pollution with their cars, there would be a noticeable difference.